For the tenants living at Bell Oaks apartment, their rent is a blessing hard to come by. For us, I mean, we're right now paying 930. We have three kids. Um, we found this place initially because it was, you know, the cheapest uh, around here because everything around here is so overly priced. But now their affordable rent comes with an expiration date. These residents just receiving a change of ownership and notice to move out for renovations. Uh, we have several people here that are, you know, handicapped. We've got people on fixed incomes. We've got Section 8 housing. What's been running through your mind about what you're going to do if this moves forward? A tent. <laughs> I mean, I don't have, I live month to month. I went in, I sat down on my couch looking at the notice and at the floor thinking I might as well shoot myself now. I don't, you know, I mean. The termination letter varying from 60 days to 90 days to move out. They're pulling a Scrooge moment because most of us are actually being told we have to be out if not by Thanksgiving than by Christmas. Tenants like William Barnett are fearing the worst. I'll be back in the streets again. All beside that, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm 72 years old. Okay. I'm a veteran. You said you've lived on the streets before? Yes, oh yes. Historical. First experience in my life. How long? Almost a year. The river. Street, levels and fishes, the mansion. The California Apartment Association represents tens of thousands of property owners, explaining what's happening is legal. In many neighborhoods, there are apartment communities that are, you know, decades old and in need of upgrading. And ultimately, a symptom of a chronic housing shortage. There is a shortage of housing. And one of our concerns is some of the new state laws and local ordinances aren't helping us solve the problem. And that is that we need to increase the supply of housing. But the tenants at Bell Oaks are just trying to figure out the next roof over their heads. My social security check is $47 more than the rent I'm paying now. They can do whatever they want, the landlords, but I'm thinking about myself, where I'm gonna go. And we were able to find the former apartment owner. They told us they sold the property earlier this year. The current management company has not yet returned to our request for comment, but tenants tell us they can move back in once those renovations are completed at around $400 more a month, and they still would have to find another place to live in the interim, in the time mm -hmm. being. Well, and some made it clear they just don't have an extra $400 right. a month, even if they could move back in.